COVID-19 canceled several fireworks show this summer, so people are taking entertainment into their own hands. Mary Joola has this story. The scorching sun did little to keep shoppers away from this fireworks store in Racine County. How long did you wait to get inside here? Oh, that was about, I say, definitely a little over an hour. Two hours. <laughs> How long did you wait in line? Two hours. We Two just hours. got out. Yeah. yeah, we waited in line for just over an hour. Long lines have been a common sight here at Phantom Fireworks in Caledonia. Located just off I-94, it's hard to miss. We watched as shopper after shopper pushed carts full of merchandise. The thing is that there's no fireworks to see this year. With shows canceled because of coronavirus, Hector Chavez drove up here from Illinois. So this is my first time actually buying fireworks, you know, just sparklers for, yeah. for, for my son and the family, okay. you know, to enjoy the fourth. Have to have something. In Wisconsin, some fireworks are legal. Generally, anything that explodes or leaves the ground is typically illegal. I believe our fine right now is $313. So our officers are going to be out there and they're going to respond to calls. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of calls from people about fireworks. Fernando Santiago is the community outreach officer with Brown Deer Police. He says aside from the law, consider your neighbors before setting off any fireworks. I mean, there's neighbors that have pets that um, can't really handle the loud explosions. We have uh, veterans that are living with some uh, medical conditions that is really uh, stressful for them. If you are going to light fireworks this weekend, be safe about it. Never point a firework at anyone and never try to relight a firework that you think might be a dud. In Racine County, Mary Joola, TMJ4 News.